So how do you work on getting that block leg down as fast as possible? What's the proper motion of it? Are you reaching? Are you rotating? What is it? We're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. It's Eric Johnson from Airtate Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna talk about yet another small thing that's crushing throwers because they don't understand the movement. One of the points of creating the throwing chain reaction system is so that we can teach you actually how to understand the complexity of the throw. Remember, throwing is very unnatural. So what is one of the things that people have a tendency to do in their teaching? We're not saying these things are bad. We're just saying things have evolved and they're getting better and the knowledge is getting better. And I think that's one of the reasons why you're seeing the performances across the board at the youth high school and collegiate and pro level just increasing because the knowledge and the information is becoming so much better. So that being said, one of the things we talk about is when we're here and we start our pillar one, two, three, four, five, what you're gonna notice is one of the things that most coaches will talk about is how to get the block leg down quickly. Now you're gonna notice what I just demonstrated. That's not right. And I'm making that point because this is one of the drills we see people reaching and they're trying to teach the athlete to get the foot down. Now what I'm saying is, is I understand why people are teaching that because they're trying to teach the active action of that leg. What's important is things have evolved and things are getting better and what we really want to understand is that we're not doing this. And so why is because it's going to stop rotation. That's something we talk about. We, to teach this particular motion, this is where we'll do what we call a pillar connection. We're teaching the fluid motion and then we're doing individual motions to teach how this kind of pulls together. So the thing that you want to just basically stop doing is reaching and if you notice from this camera angle when I do this this foot stops if I pull it and I push it in you're gonna notice how I'm gonna create rotation that's super key so one of the simple things you want to do is understand that even if I'm doing say a step in and I step here how does that leg work and you're going to notice that as I push it we, we, we have a drill called a push pull we break that down and we show the mechanics we show the position of the chest how the knee and how the the sprint leg which turns into the block leg pulls behind the delivery leg so one of the key things that we want to focus on is we want to make sure that we're here that we're pulling and we're putting the block foot down and you're going to notice how my delivery side and my hips are rotating into the throw that's key do yourself a favor stop drills that are doing this we understand the purpose we're not saying those served a purpose at one time but what we've learned is that there is a evolution of how we want to coach the throw and we want to change that movement and just working on getting that down fast there's a number of things that that causes and we'll talk about that in another video but for the time being do yourself a favor what you want to do is not reach you want to be pulling and opening to feel that position to get our block foot down and you're gonna notice that my shoulders are staying here and my lower body is moving ahead and something that we talked about like in the don't finish the throw video super important and it's gonna help you throw farther faster okay guys so hopefully you found that video helpful if you did be sure to hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up comment below and we will see you on the next video as we get throwers and they kind of walk through and they're gonna hit, they start doing this stuff. And the thing that we see with throwers all over the world 